Here we are on Friday Night Praise and Prayer on August 19th. I really appreciate everyone being here. This is going to be a wonderful night. Uh, I, we did we prayed before we come on usually, and I didn't do that, so I'm going to do it right now. Heavenly Father, just thank you so much. May this just uh, be a beautiful prayer and praise and prayer and worship time and intercessory prayer time for you and you alone. May do it for your glory and your glory alone. I just ask you one thing, and we say these things in the mighty name of Jesus. I just ask you one thing. Hey, please just put everything away for the next 90 minutes and just concentrate on the Lord God Almighty. This is an amazing time. I just love this. This is presence-based worship. And remember, this is what it's all about. It's a, we're going to experience the Holy Spirit River. The only way you do that is put everything away and just worship and praise the Lord. And then the amazing thing is we have His presence with us and we do intercessory prayer and amazing things happen. So we want you to give us your praise reports. Let us know what's been going on. We have all kinds of miracles happening back here and we're hearing about them, so let us know about those. Secondly, we're gonna do intercessory prayer for you, so give us your prayer request as well. It is, that's awesome. Hey, we are, we are congregating on the Blessed Teach Neighborhood. It's a free platform, just like Facebook. Please come there. If you're on Facebook right now, make sure you're on here. Remember, Meta's gonna die. It means death, right? We've, we've been reported on that. You need to come over to the neighborhood. It's a Facebook for Christian patriots. Free. Join groups. Get into prayer groups. Be connected, not isolated, with other Christian patriots. B2T Neighborhood. You can download it on your mobile phone, the App Store, as well as the Google Play Store. And you can also um, just go to B2TNeighborhood.com. But search on the App Store, B2T Neighborhood. Okay? Lastly, join us backstage here. That's where the ministry is growing. We have a specific mission to start really using the authority we have in Christ for amazing purposes. The main thing we're going to be taking down is the stronghold that Satan holds with child sacrifice. That still goes on today. We went with Baal and Moloch way back on. We are going to be taking down that stronghold. You want to be part of a big ministry that's doing big things that God wants to use in a mighty way? Join backstage. Just go to blessedteach.com. Bless us on number two, teach.com, and join backstage. With that, we are just going to lift up the Lord for the next 90 minutes. It's so exciting, Kent. How are you today? I am great. We're starting with one of our anthems, everybody. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Ah 
song to Jesus. Come on, somebody worship the living God. Sing out of your heart. Sing out of your heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God in the high. We worship. We adore you. to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Giving you your praise. Giving you your praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. In your presence there's fullness of joy. Sing it with me. In your presence, Lord, there is fullness of joy. In your presence, Lord, there is fullness of joy. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your, it's a spontaneous love song to the Lord. Do it again, yeah. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your presence. And the second verse, you are here touching every heart. You are here touching every heart. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you. You are here. You're healing. Healing every heart. This is the B2T neighborhood, the mission statement. Healing every heart. The next part is you're turning lives around. You are here, turning lives around. It's a confession and a decree. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. You are here. Mending every heart. Love it. Love it. I worship you, Lord Jesus. Do that one again. You're here turning lives around. You are here turning lives around. I worship you. to fix that yeah what happened <laughs> 
You are here. Here it goes. Turning lives around. And maybe because I'm turning an original sound on, I guess I won't do that. I worship you, yeah. You are here. Mending every heart, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I worship you. You guys ready? Let's declare tonight, Waymaker. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Yeah, way maker, miracle, that's wonderful, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Come on, one more time. Yeah. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, 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 that is who you, you are, this is who This is who you are. This is who you are. This is who you are. Yeah, this is who you are. somebody to unmute and say thank you jesus we love you lord come on right now thank at the you, front jesus. end of this we love you, thank you jesus we thank love you jesus lord. we love you lord thank, thank you jesus i love you lord i love you so much you. it's beautiful rick i can't wait till jesus, we have a hundred people all. doing that <laughs> We're gonna what, what real soon we're gonna have a hundred people doing that. It's gonna it. confuse the enemy. Okay. And the song is Be Enthroned. We've come to Thank you, Jesus. We love you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Teresa. We love you all. Put it from Uganda. <laughs> it was late, but it was still good. To raise our voice up. Be enthroned, Lord. Heaven and earth alike. We've seen your faithful hand. We've seen your faithful. Worship the living God. Your mercy without. The King who bled and died. The King who bled. The God who's accurate. You're the God who sacrificed. You're the God who sacrificed. You're ready to be enthroned, Lord Jesus. And be enthroned upon the praises of a thousand generations. You are worthy. Singing worthy, Lord of all, be enthroned, and so be enthroned upon the praises of a thousand generations. You're worthy, Lord. 
You're the Lord of all. And unto you, the slain and risen King, we lift our voice with heaven, the singing worthy Lord of all. Verse 2, all through this life we lead. Check it. All through this life, we lead unto eternity our endless praise our endless praise will cry Jesus be glorified all through this life we lead all through this life we lead unto eternity our endless praise will cry our endless praise our endless praise will cry Jesus be glorified, Jesus, Jesus be glorified, be enthroned my God, and be enthroned upon the praises of a thousand generations, you are worthy. slain and risen king we lift our voice with we lift our voice with heaven think about it worthy lord of all worthy lord of all so be enthroned upon the praises of a thousand generations Come on, one more time, highest praises. 
here the holy spirit river flowing now oh, thank you lord oh my god i just want to start with some praise requests we had a whole list of them in a prayer session i had this more the today and it was like wow we have this new pcr group that's being formed it's just beautiful in a chat group on the neighborhood it's all about we're changing the pcr term it's like not a pcr test it is project children rescue we're going to be praying down the stronghold of children's sacrifice and and all these sacrifices that go to Moloch and Baal. We're going to be calling that down. And we have now got a proclamation created. We're going to be blowing shofars at the end here after we do the proclamation at the end. So stick with us to the very end. You'll see that. We have a person, a beautiful person, offering to buy people shofars in the backstage community that don't have one. Just so many things going on. Uh, we have uh, Lois uh, just sharing visions that are just so inspiring. We're getting words from the little one backstage. There's just so much going on. It is just crazy. Many of us were blessed by Robin Bullock um, and his the 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 the, the re, what, what we call revival through the tribes the the, the African Americans I mean sorry the Native Americans Native Americans uh, yeah and the tribal re, uh, uh, revival that's happening there and, and that kind of comes back to what Kent and Carla have experienced it was just such a beautiful thing to sit, see how all this is coming together and everybody's backstage has links and our heart to end these child sacrifices, to, 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 to have revival across this nation all the way back to the, to the Native Americans. It's just a beautiful time right now. And I know, Vicki, you have a quick uh, uh, praise as well. Would you mind sharing? She's just unmuting that. She's trying to look at the iPhone. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry. Yeah, my, my uh, iPad ran out. Yeah, another beautiful answer to prayer tonight from the courts of heaven through Gloria uh, another facet of pain that was incrementally healed I believe um, but it was a major one so I just praise God and, and thank you so much Gloria and all the ladies that pray um, at courts of heaven wow, Amen. that's awesome thank you Vicki and I just see Steve and Rebecca praying together. What a huge, I, I highlighted you one time. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> just awesome. so cool, isn't it, Kent? <laughs> to see the husband I thought and wife. it was a big angel back there. I wasn't <laughs> sure if it was an angel or a man. <laughs> uh, 
But I, I could tell that I, I saw, okay, it, it's a man that, that loves his wife. <laughs> it is. Awesome. Though. It's a great picture. There's no question about it. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Just a huge praise there. And then I have another just quick praise, and then we'll get uh, back into some worship. We'll come back with a bunch of prayer requests. But um, um, I, I was calling for this Patriot Switch movement, right, and getting 30-minute um, VIP Operation Tomahawk tours set up. And I called this one gal, and she answered, and she's on her cell phone, and she was actually in hospice. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know, why would somebody wow. in the hospice be signing up for Patriot Switch? <laughs> um, but, wow. uh, and she really, wow. uh, but she had, and, and it literally the power was out at her house. She wasn't getting her oxygen. And um, and it just, it just reminded me that what God's done here Jesus. backstage, he, He's given us the gifts we've asked for. We've asked for all nine gifts, the nine squared ministry, fruits of the Spirit, and all nine of them, love, joy, peace, patience, all those, right? Plus the nine gifts of the Spirit in two, I know, one, one Corinthians 12, right? And then list all nine of them, but two that we're really focused on backstage here is the gift of healing, the gift of miracles. And so I just prayed for her. And I know God's going to be doing some amazing things in her life. And that doctor's going to be shocked when she's off hospice. Family's going to be shocked. She released her faith to heaven and we'll see amazing things happen. We're going to see these miracles happening all around. So I want everyone to make sure you're releasing your faith to heaven and you're asking for what you need right now. So put your praise requests, uh, prayer, prayer report requests in, prayer requests in your, your chat. Let's get you prayed for and you're going to see miracles happen tonight. With that, can't we continue to praise. Wow. Yeah, I want to take just a minute, Rick. Viola Demarak is on here. Um, uh, she said, I'm 75% Native American. I love my people, my culture. Mm -hmm. Well, Viola, just so you know, uh, Rick had posted this thing with Robin Bullock mm -hmm. and uh, Carla wanted me to watch it. And honestly, it's over two hours long. I usually won't watch something that long. But what happened today is the Lord reminded me, he said, I marked you and made you special to be able to open portals and to, to push back the kingdom of darkness. And as it was uh, going on today, I was fighting back tears. And I told Rick this today. <clears throat> I've had uh, been in drum circles. I'm one of the few white guys that's ever been in Native American drum circles. And uh, also, um, <clears throat> Nigel Big Pond out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He, uh, I was leading worship at a, a Shabbat service in uh, Grove, Oklahoma, and him and Jay Swallow, Jay went home to be with the Lord, but they were there that night. Uh, this is just one of many of my heart. I actually lived in Gallup, New Mexico, where um, Window Rock is in Canyon de Chez. I know it really well. And you can look up the thing with Robin Bullock, but when Nijo Big Pond, and I didn't realize they were having a three and a half hour Shabbat service on a Friday mm -hmm. night. So 90 minutes is nothing, Rick, <laughs> when, you, when you look at it. But what happened is we're halfway through the service. I said, Nijo, get up here. It's your turn to pray and share your heart. And by the way, on the way up the steps, give me my Indian name. He said, I already know that. Get ready. He said, you are Sky Hunter. You search for the dreams and the visions from God. You get them and deliver them to the people. Oh, I could barely, I, I just almost burst in it. I said, I am the sky hunter. And I find the dreams and the visions of the Lord for his people, especially the unworthy ones. And so Viola, I want you to be praying for me and for Rick, because what, what we believe is going to happen is there's going to be release on reservations and there'll be a Native American revival and great awakening like we've never seen. And we believe for renewal and restoration, not of all things, but of the things of the Lord that could come. And so I wanted to take a minute and share that with you because it, it's been uh, it's been so it's been a heavy day in a great way. And we're coming back to our song we just started last night. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Isaiah 40. If you need the strength of the Lord, strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. As we wait upon the as we wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the as we wait upon the Lord, as we wait upon the Lord. our God. You reign, 
Lots of prayer requests uh, lined up here, so Woo! Um, I'm just gonna call on people that have their cameras on <laughs> to just lift oh people God. up, right? So, <laughs> I, so uh, I love it, and so uh, I'm just scrolling through here. So we have a prayer request here. And there's so many people just doing uh, praise reports. I just forgot about a praise report on Rumble just real quick before I get to this. This is Angela and saying, a prodigal daughter called me last night. Prodigals are coming home. He rescues the children of the godly. Woo! And yes. I enjoy praises the Lord with you all. Once a month on Friday evening, we pick up and feed our chickens and turkeys from our coop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that I have to leave to do that soon. <laughs> so it's we KDB. have. Yeah, that's love it. <laughs> We got all this going on here. So here's a prayer request for Mayor Maria Padilla. I'm just wondering if uh, Terry, you, if you mind taking this T E R I Conger. So please pray for me. I really needed it in my body, losing weight faster, and my um, gastrointestinal problems, and everything. Can't sleep at night, and pray for my brother Anthony for his healing of colon cancer and dialysis. Couple of big ones there, Terry. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're still muted, it looks like. Um, there you go, gotcha. Okay, sorry. If I cut out, I'm sorry, because my throat is really sore tonight. Mm. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you yes. this evening and we pray that you will wrap your ever-loving healing arms around Medilla, Mar Maria Padilla, and um, help her. We know that you are the God of healing. We know that nothing is impossible through you. And we know that with our prayers and with us calling down all the evil and in the name Jesus. of Jesus, we understand and believe that you will heal her, that you will help her get over her gastro gastrointestinal problems and not being able to sleep. And we also ask that you wrap your arms around her brother, um, Anthony, and heal him from his colon cancer. Once again, we know that if you wrap your loving arms around us, we believe you, we know that you heal. We call down everything in the name of Jesus to heal these people, these ever loving followers of yours. In your name we pray, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. We have another one that I'd like Ruth to take. Uh, this is um, a personal anonymous, but it's a prayer for a family suffering with effects of grief and pain from possibly a spirit of death lingering, harassing those who have lost multiple best friends to suicide in the last five years. Unexplained pain, depression, drug use, brain injuries, and stomach ailments manifesting repeatedly. Will you call that down for us, Ruth? Absolutely. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> oh, precious moment. I thank you for waiting. Going up with us right now. It's just so beautiful. And your, your presence here is so uh, tangible. And just a blanket of your love and your healing power right now amongst us. Just thank you and worship you for the way that you are coming upon us in, in such a beautiful way. And we extend this out to this, these um, individuals who are suffering with grief, not um, that you would, I mean, addressing all people that are watching right now that have these problems, these problems of deep, deep grief within your soul over death and suicide and depression and so many negative, negative things dragging you down. God's talking to you right now. He's coming upon you. He's lifting this burden. He's shielding you from the enemy. He's releasing your soul. Right now, He's coming upon you. He's delivering you. He's speaking peace into your body, soul, and spirit. He 
healing you completely and releasing you just feel that warmth come over you just releasing you now and saying in the name of Jesus is she Amen, Lord. And we do. We call down any generational curses or any curses coming from anything like this, Lord. We call that down by the power of the name of all names, Jesus and his shed blood. And by that power and authority, we call this done in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we also have Vicki uh, C. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, oh, that was the praise. We got Beetle Browning for my family members to hear. Uh, Lois, if you wouldn't mind taking this. Beetle Browning for my family members to hear the voice of God and to fully get to know Him. That's B E A T E Browning. Yeah, it's Beata. Beata. She's from Germany. Beata. Yeah, Beata. Okay. Beata. Oh, what a beautiful name, Beata. Yes, it's welcome beautiful. Welcome to our, welcome to our praise and worship. <laughs> I think about the power that we have in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And like Kent was just singing from Isaiah 40, verse 31. And I'm going to read it because I love what it says. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings of eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. If those who believe could soar on the wings of eagles, and certainly, God can speak to B. B say it again. B B I'm going to call BB. I'm going to call her BB because mm -hmm. I have a hard time. I have a hard time articulating sometimes with my face. So, Father, BB needs your help. She needs your help to have her family members hear your word. And we ask, Father, that you would shout it from the highest rooftops. You would send down your messengers, plant seeds, even the seed of a mustard, a mustard plant will grow into a giant plant. But plant those little mustard seeds all around her. When I see a little circle of mustard seeds, it's all around in a circle around the family. And they're growing up and they're getting stronger and stronger. And Father, we just claim this right now that this is what's going to happen to your family. They're going to grow in wisdom, in knowledge. They're going to grow in God and the Holy Spirit is going to speak to them. And you're going to see a miracle happen in your family. Just as we've been seeing miracles in our ministry. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm going to ask uh, Gloria, I know you're looking at the chat, anything that you'd like to lift up? If you want me to read one, well, let me um, go ahead. I said that the, the country of Australia, the wow. um, one that says, you know, prayer for John, the grandfather of my children, and for her aunt Joanna to be used for signs and wonders here in Australia. Father, we just know that they, you see countries around the world, every country, Father. And Father, right now, Father, we are bringing you two people, Father, that said, here we are, use us. So Father, we ask that you put your hand upon the two of them and bless them with the ability, with Holy Spirit ability to show your magnificence through signs and wonders, Father, that will just lead the people of Australia to honor you, to praise you, to know that Jesus is the Lord of Lord and Kings of Kings, that he is the Savior. Father, you know that you say that, that you look for people. You look for people who say, here we are, send us, you are, use us. So Father, right now I bring to your attention those two mentions and declare the anointing of the Lord shall be heavy upon them and you will get all the glory in the name of jesus amen all right thank you so much and uh uh let me rebecca and steve there it's a simple request sometimes praying for more strength in ministry uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry that's uh i missed one 
All right, but it's, this, this is for Uganda, I think. Praying for more strength in ministry. Refresh me, oh Lord. You pray for Uganda and uh, Matthias, I think it is. <laughs> Matan. Matan, yeah. Matan. Matan, Matthias, yeah. Matthias, that's it. Rebecca, would you mind doing that? You're still muted. There you go. Hey. His name is Matthias. Yes, Matthias from Uganda. Matthias from Uganda. Father God, we know that uh, the peoples of the world uh, in places are uh, struggling. Um, and we pray, Lord, that your grace and your mercy would just pour out upon these people, that your time on this earth um, is coming, where yes. all of the struggles will end, where, where, where life will begin. Um, in the spirit, in the soul, Lord, we, we give you, Lord, all of our praise and all of our worship, Lord. We, 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 we reach out to you, Lord. We pray to you. We give you all the glory. We just ask you, Lord, that you would help these people um, in every way possible, in their spirit and in their soul and in their physical and mental being, Lord. Let you be and consume them. Lord, just consume them and their people and their countries. Uganda is only one place. Where there are many, Lord. Even in our own country, there are many many places where people are reaching and they need you, Lord. They need you. They need your your your, your help, your, your mercy. Father, we just pray, Lord, that you would just open up and let the, the floodgates open up, Lord, and just pour out upon them, Lord. Let your grace flow, Lord. And, and let us give you all the glory, Lord, doing this but we just the healing there's so much healing that people need lord in the spirit in the mind and the body and soul lord it's not just the physical but everything lord we just need the earth needs you lord in this time so please lord pour your mercy out upon us lord pour your grace upon us lord pour your healing upon us and we god we give you all the glory and we pray that you would cover us in the blood of Jesus, Lord. Cover us in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do for each and every one of us and help us mend this broken world, Lord. In Jesus' name, pray. Father, uh, we, we I, I just want to... Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. go ahead. We just want to thank you again for Matthias, for his, Matthias and his ministry. Yes. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending a man with such a heart who knows these children have no family, but he is now their family, and he's brought bringing them to you to be your family. Such a beautiful family, all loving God, all growing together, and prayers being answered daily. Give them abundance, Heavenly Father, and guide him to be the father that they all need and to show such a good example of a father that they know how to love you. Awesome. And, Can't you have some? And, and, and yeah, Rick, there's a Tammy, no fear. I have two prayer requests, which maybe Annette could take these. For my husband to wake up, I can't handle it anymore. But further, number two, for my neuropathy, which is in her legs, to be healed, I've tried different therapies and nothing has helped. So I think Annette, we haven't heard from her. If you would take those two, it's Tammy, no fear. I'm not sure what she can see on her screen, but the two prayer requests for my husband to, I mean, to wake up to the Lord and then my neuropathy. So go ahead. Oh, Father in heaven, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that we can come before you and we know that because of Jesus' blood that he, he, uh, what he did for us on the cross, we have the right to ask for what we need. And we come here now, Father, before you and your precious Son, Jesus Christ, and we ask you to heal uh, and uh, mend this, um, I mean, what, what was it you said? I'm sorry. Neuropathy. Yeah. Yeah, neuropathy. Neuropathy. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Not Maria. get enough blood to your feet. Not get enough blood to your feet. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, that he needs the blood, Father. The blood that Jesus died for him. That Jesus is the healer, the doctor, the healer for this man. And we ask you, Father, please, Father, let that blood be so healed and it will flow just in the in a mighty way, Holy Spirit. Just let it flow into his legs. Just let it flow, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, do a miracle for this man. Do a miracle for him, Father. Show him how mighty you are, how great you are, how loving you are. And we just will praise you, praise you, praise you. We are here because we love you, Father. We love your son. And we want people to know about Jesus. We want people to praise Jesus because it's all up because of him. It's all because of Jesus that we are here. And thank you, Father, that you will heal this man. So the blood would just flow into his veins and his feet and it will be Great Father, you will do a miracle. You will show him that you love him, that you died for him, Jesus. Your blood you, was, Lord. everything was done with your blood on the cross, Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, and we praise you. And the other matter, we ask you also, Father, that you will do a miracle there too, do a miracle there too, Father. You know what it is. And Jesus, you died for that person too. You died, Jesus, for that person too. And we just praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, that you will do this for these people. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Annette. I just want to sneak one more in. Gus, I a simple request. It's Robin Olm out of Facebook is saying, I need help moving stuff. Pray for favor. <laughs> Maybe you can pray for those, just this, these simple requests, Gus. Father God, is it Robin you said? Yes, Robin Olm. Yes. Robin Father God, uh, we just pray right now in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, Gus, I'm going to come back to you. Apply Hey, I was gonna give this. Gosh, you're breaking up. Yeah. yeah, I guess I was. I was gonna give this to Kathy. Kathy, would you go ahead? That, that that's gonna that's gonna delay for a while. But Kathy, okay. yeah. Yeah. Um. What was the name? Robin. Robin Ohm. Help for moving. Or just simple. Simple. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Father, that you give us favor. And you give Robin favor. You bring people across your path that can help her move because we know moving can be a very hard thing. So I thank you, Father, that you just line up everything that she needs for her to help help during her time of moving. And we give you all the glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Rick, yeah. All is for his glory. All is for Everything we do, all is for your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all is for your glory. That in all things you may have preeminence. That in all things you may have. Oh, sing it again. 
It's all for your name and your presence, Lord. Yeah. All is for your love that you could have the first place that in all things you may have the first place that in all things now check out the lyrics there's just one and there's just one chief in two man's purpose worship and know the lord and one main reason for exist to worship and know the lord and all man's vain and high ambition check it out will one day be brought low will one day be brought low sing it again there's just one cheap man and there's just one cheap in to man's purpose worship and know the lord and one main reason for existence all man's vain and all man's vain and high ambition one day be brought low one day be brought low for you alone will be exalted in that day and for you alone will be exalted in that day and worthless goals will be exposed as the idols that we made and for you alone will be exalted in that awesome <laughs> you'll be seen as rightful king from our hearts will sing yeah, that all is for your glory come on you guys lift it up before the lord all is for your name and all Lord, all is for your glory and all is for your name. Yeah, and all is for your glory. That in all things you may have the first place. Get ready. Catch me up in your story, all my life for your glory. And catch me up in your story, all my life for your glory. Catch me up in your story, all my life for your glory. Catch me up in your story, all my life for your glory. Catch me up in your story, all my life, my God, my joy, you're my delight, my God, my joy, you're my delight, I love it, my God, my joy, you're my Come on, one more time. Catch me up in your glory, in your story. And catch me up in your story. Oh, my life for your glory. Catch me up in your story. Oh, my life for your glory. Catch me up. Oh, my life for your glory. Catch me up in your 
story all my life, my God, my joy, my delight, my God, my joy, you're my delight. Now I'm going to do something really special here tonight. Um, I want Gloria just to hear me out right for a minute. We're going to pray over Rick. Everybody on our stream, Ken Henry Ministries, Carriage House tonight, we're praying over Rick Renee right now and everything he's doing all this song. I knew when I picked it out today, it was for prayer that everything that we touch, the B2T neighborhood, uh, quantum energy, everything we declare it's for your glory and now let us see that great provision of prosperity so all of us are going to agree as touching this praying for rick and for rob and their family i want everybody to to pay attention and see what's going on here tonight because i uh, and I want to make sure Gloria heard me. She's still on, right? I was looking for, oh yeah, she's right there. So Gloria, whenever you're ready, I want you to lead a prayer, a declaring all. We, we're doing everything, Rick's, ever since I've known him, that's all he says. He said, it's all for the glory of God. I know pastors that don't even do that. That, that is not right. So tonight, Rick, you get prayer by all the intermingled streams in the name of Jesus. Gloria, go ahead powerfully. Well, Father, you just brought a Psalm 37 to me. I didn't know who it was for, but right. now I do. Now I do. Because your word says, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. Do it. And we know that there is nothing more powerful, or very little more powerful, than declaring the Word of God. So, <gasps> Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring to you Rick, a man who has committed his way to the Lord, a man who has trusted you and has acted, Father, he has acted boldly and in some places tread where people are afraid to tread but father we pray for his protection we ask that you bless him anoint his hands father as he prays for people that yes. they are healed anoint his words father that they be powerful powerful as yours are powerful father and we also ask you father that you anoint his feet father that where he walks father yes. his footsteps will be seen and father we also ask that you enlarge you say you told us to enlarge our tents well father yes. i ask you to enlarge the tent of rick's mental spiritual and emotional capacity enlarge it lord because as you pour down loads in father that he is able to receive it process it and deliver it to those that you want it delivered to so we thank you and praise you for rick renee and we yes. ask your total blessing upon him in jesus name amen amen and i'm going to dub dovetail right into that rick so the promised provision of the lord belongs to the b2t neighborhood i'm decreeing and declaring tonight we all agree as touching it on this live stream with glorious prayer lord the promised provision is in his hands. It's not in the mail. It's not going to be in the mailbox. It's already here. I pray tonight, giant, the promise of the giant provision of the Lord is here for everything that he needs to do, for every vision. It's a big man. It's a man of a great vision. He has multiple visions, Lord, and he's doing it all at one time. So now the blessing rain of heaven is being poured on Rick. It's going to be in his car. It's going to be in his office, in his house. It's going to be wherever he goes. I'm talking about the blessing rain of heaven. Again, dovetailing with glorious prayer. You said you'd give him the desires of his heart, Lord. He is waiting on you. We agree is touching the desires. He has spoken to you, God, that there's even more th things that he wants to do. Uh, I mean, including touching hundreds of thousands of broken people. We say yes and amen to the vision. Yes and amen.
amen to the B2D neighborhood. Yes and amen, amen to quantum energy with the supernatural provision. I want people to unmute and say, yes, Lord, we give you the glory. Yes, Lord, we give you the glory. 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 Glory be to God. Thank you. All the glory. Blessings on red. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Man. Hey, every once in a while, Rick, I just got to pull a rank like an older brother or something. I mean, that was really good. I, I dig that totally. Thanks, you guys, for praying. We got to do that intermittently for Rick and Rob and for the whole ministry that's been created now. Back to you, Rick. Wow, well, look at the blessing of all these cameras on. So thank you guys so much. I received that. I just love you guys so much. And um, I just want to get Teresa another praise report. She wants to go. She goes, hey, I didn't get my praise report thank in. You. <laughs> go ahead. I, I, okay, I'm not muted. Um, I just have to give God, I have to brag on God. <laughs> okay, I have to brag on Christ. I have had a week with no CNA. I don't know how many of you know what a CNA is, but it's someone who comes and helps and helps take care of you. Um, my CNA went to school and they didn't have anybody to replace her. And normally I would have been terrified, but I wasn't terrified. And I took one day at a time and I've gone through the entire week. I have not had a CNA. And today I walked from one side of my living room to the other. And I only held on to something with one hand. Wow. And I was so thankful and so grateful. I cleaned my entire kitchen by myself. I've cooked meals every night by myself. It's been God. It's all God. And he gets all the glory. I, I can't even express how thrilled I am because I know this only means that in a very short time, I'm not even going to need a CNA anymore because I'm going to be whole and complete. Woo, and I Teresa, just, Teresa, I hang on a minute. have to give him the glory. Teresa, I want you to tell everybody on the stream, because some people are new, how long you were not able to walk. And uh, I mean, how long ago was that? Because well, Rick and I misunderstood I, it. We I, thought it was I, I was born with cerebral palsy. <laughs> My parents were told I would never walk or talk. And you can see talking is not a problem. <laughs> um, but um, I, I learned after 18 years and 33 major surgeries, I finally was able to cross the graduation thing to graduate from high school wow. and then about and still I needed a lot of help but then about 15 years ago I fell and hit my head on an oven door and it caused me to have a TIA and I lost right. my ability to balance wow. so I ended up in the hospital and was put in it permanently in a power chair and I don't believe I'm going to stay in the power chair. I believe yeah, God awesome. is giving me my balance back, right? He's giving me my skills back. And he's got a really glorious plan that he shared with me that I can't share tonight. <laughs> but I just want to give you all, I want everybody to know if he'll do it for me, he'll do it for anybody. All you have to do is have a heart to love him. I've been taking communion every night. I don't know how many oh, people will God. think I'm crazy, mm -hmm. but I've oh, been no. doing it every night because awesome. I need his help every day. And I've been thanking him every night. Thank you, God, that we went through another day together. Thank you that you supported yes. me, that you took care of me. And I want people to know it. it he means what he says. He oh, keeps God. his word amazing praise god he's amazing Tell me that. hey Rick, i'm so other, grateful one other thing as as we're finishing up Teresa, thank you i don't want to cut her off <laughs> That's carla carla handed me a note and you can probably see this the praise report from deborah galenis if i'm saying it the right way the lord kept me dying from blood clots on both lungs i was admitted monday monday and released thursday somebody rejoice and the lord Jesus. i told carl you gotta write stuff down for me you can see this is how we she's right over here running all the lyrics for the computer and stuff everybody say hey carla hey carla thank she you can, hey carla she can, hey, she carla. can hear you 
And I said, you, she tries to mouth it to me, and I said, I don't understand. So we got a yellow sheet working now for us for yeah. the praise report. <laughs> it's so cool how Teresa uh, didn't had, didn't walk was in her chair for six um, years without being able to stand, and she started praising the Lord here. And uh, God's just taking her one step at a time toward full healing. It's just such an amazing time, guys, of what's happening backstage. So join us. Go to blessedteach.com. Make sure you hit the backstage tab. Free for 30 days. We come and see what's here. Come and see. I think many of you are being called to this ministry. If you really want to be in a ministry that's being used by God for healing miracles, as well as taking down the stronghold of child trafficking, child sacrifice, and the and the, the the power and and source that Satan uses for for these sacrifices to Moloch and Baal, we're taking that down. Come and join us now. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful time. I wanted to, uh, yeah. With that, I was going to do a quick word uh, from the Lord as we continue to work through um, Genesis. Um, I know as I know I know we might have to go a little bit over, but I tell you what, I just think it's important to get the word of God in here. And this yes. this is go this is Genesis 32. We we on Thursday, so so join me back, uh, join me on the Blessed Teach Show, Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I do a word, and uh, we're now on Genesis 32. We've gone through all of Exodus. I mean, a, a, a big portion of Exodus, all the way past the Red Sea. And now, because we're about ready to go to the great Exodus, and now we're going through all books of uh, Genesis, um, all, all chapters of Genesis. We're in Genesis 32 now. We, we already looked about Jacob is fearful of his son, I mean his brother Esau, who he basically deceived. His name means deceiver, and uh, he's been living all these years. There he is 20 years later coming back, and here we are. Jacob wrestles with God. Have you ever wrestled with God? I think most of us probably have in our life sometime, right? Here's a literal time of wrestling with God. <laughs> so the same night he rose and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his 11 children and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream and everything else that he had, that includes all his cattle, everything. And Jacob was left alone. So here he is back here. He thinks his brothers potentially come in with 400 men to kill he and his family and everything he has and what does he do well it says and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day it doesn't say he went and wrestled with a man it says a man wrestled with him so this man which we find out later is probably a christophany it's god in flesh it's god it's it's, it's probably christ the pre-incarnate christ so a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day when the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket. And Jacob's hip was put out of joint as it wrestled with him. So here he is wrestling, and it's, you know, thinking he can beat God, <laughs> right? <laughs> Have you ever done that? You, wanna, you want God to change what, see what he's going to do, and you're trying to change him, and he's wrestling. He touches his hip socket, injures him there. Then he said, let me go for the day has broken so basically he wrestles all day with god can you imagine that and and uh god basically says to him let me go for the day is broken but jacob said i will not let you go unless you bless me so at this point in time he's lost wow. obviously right so he can't beat god obviously he can't beat this man he's already been injured by this man and he's had to basically submit to this man basically uh, God could have won at any time. He wanted to use a supernatural power. Is, uh, but here we see, finally, all he had left was to hold on to God. And I think that's where God wants us all. He wants us to get to the point where we're weak. And all we can do is hold on to God. And this is where he wants us. And at this point in time, you have someone who's been named deceiver, He's been, uh, you know, he's got, a, he's got a name that just tells who he is. And this is when God's going to change that. So he says, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. Uh, I would imagine in almost an embarrassing way, right? He's had to say that his whole life. My name means deceiver or trickster, right? Then he said, this is basically the Lord making him from deceiver to receiver i think is what what kent said last week last, last not, night when we were talking about this from deceiver to receiver your name shall no longer be jacob but israel 
This is where the 12 tribes of Israel come from. This is when you change from receiver to deceiver to receiver. And that means strives with God or God strives. Most likely, I, I believe it's really more God rules is what really Israel means. God rules. So we went from a deceiver, a trickster, to God rules. And that is amazing if you just think about that. For you have striven with God and with men and have prevailed. He didn't really prevail over God, but he prevailed because he just held on to God. And God changed his name forever from deceiver to somebody that's going to bless all nations. We all talk about the blessings coming from Israel, his very name now. Why is it that you're asking my name? So, so, so basically then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he said, why are you asking my name? So he knew at this point in time who this was. This was the Lord God Almighty in flesh. And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, which really means the face of God. For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life has been delivered. So he did something that almost no man on this earth has ever done, where he literally physically wrestled with God. But we wrestle with him mentally, and I think that's why this is in Scripture so well documented for us. The sun rose upon him, and he passed Peniel limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, people in Israel do not eat the sinew of the thigh that is on the hip socket because he touched the socket of Jacob's hip on the, I think it's sinew wow. of the thigh. So that is really the wrestling with God story where we move from deceiver to receiver to being a trickster, a deceiver as your name that just defines you to whatever God, whatever the world's defined you as, you don't have to stay with that. Why? Because God is just going to love you and change you when you accept him as Christ. You were a new creation, as 2 Corinthians talks about. You were a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come. How beautiful that. The old is gone. The new has come. All you need to do is accept Jesus Christ as your Savior through that narrow path. And then you are now no longer a Jacob. You're an Israel. You're no longer on the side of death. You are on the side of life. You were a creation, a new created being that is buried with Christ and up just like in baptism we bury ourselves with Christ and we are raised to life we are in this new creation that can serve him and that's what this remnant is and that's what we're looking for you to be so if you have not accepted Christ as your savior please do that right now real quickly just it's very simple it is the narrow path is simple Christ I mean the, the Satan wants to take that away and make it very hard all you have to do is say Lord thank you thank you for letting me know I'm a sinful person. And I repent of that. And I want to have the, this narrow path, this free gift that you give us, where the shed blood of Christ covers my sins. And it makes me a new creation. I move from old to new, and I accept that right now. Show me how to follow you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you. If you did that, make sure you... Email info at blessedteach.com, info at blessed with the number two teach.com. Get your free Bible. We love you guys so much. Let's right now just praise the Lord God Almighty who saves, the God who makes us, moves us from Jacob to Israel, from deceiver to yes. receiver, from deceiver to God rules. Kent? Great I am. Great I am, great I am. It's become a really powerful song for our stream. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, God almighty. Great I am, for who is worthy. There's none beside thee. God Almighty, great I am. Well, hallelujah, holy, holy God, and that awesome, you're the great I am. And who is worthy, and none beside thee, God.
You're the great I. Come on, sing His name. The great I am. You're the great I am. You're the great. <laughs> All right, here's those verses. I want to be close, close to your side, Lord. Heaven is real. Death is a lie. I want to be close, close to your side. Heaven is real and death is a lie. I want to hear voices of angels above singing as a one. I want to be close, Lord. I want to be close and close to your side because heaven is real and death is a lie. I want to hear voices of angels above singing as Hallelujah, holy, holy God Almighty. Oh it's so good. I'm great I am. Who is worthy? None beside thee. God Almighty, you're the great I tonight, Lord. We acknowledge who you are, yeah. You're the great I am. You're the great I am. The mountains shake before you, yeah. The mountains shake before you. The demons run and flee at the mention of your name. King of majesty, there is no power in hell, nor any who can stand before the power and the presence of the great I am. The mountains shake before you. The of your name, the King of Majesty. There is no power in hell or any who can stand before the power and the presence of the great I am. Great I am. Great One more time, hallelujah, and hallelujah, holy, holy, God Almighty, wow, great I am, and who is worthy, and none beside me, God Almighty. I am. 
never forget the name. The philosophers and the theologians can't figure it out, Rick. They said, we don't know. We, we, tell, tell Mo, Moses said, tell him I am that I am. <laughs> said you. That means I am. <laughs> I mean, they, they've been doing tricks and discussing and debating it forever. But Jesus told the woman at the well, the one you look for, the Messiah, I am he. I am. <laughs> Rick, how do you want to close out tonight? This has been glorious wow. for Jesus. Now we had quite a bit of prayer requests we did not get to. I'm going to just do a quick uh, round of prayers. Um, so so to do just, to just going a little bit long. But I wanted to say, hey, if we don't get to your prayer request, please put it on the neighborhood wall. So the way you do that is you just go to the neighborhood, B2T neighborhood. You can download that app on your Google play store or into the apple store just go b2t neighborhood blessed to teach b2t neighborhood and then or you just go to b2t neighborhood.com on your laptop right and then just go to the group that's the written prayer request there's a group just like facebook groups facebook pages this is, this is neighborhood groups neighborhood pages this is the replacement for facebook guys it's dying it's meta meta equals death that's been prophesied by julie green and many others uh, so Facebook's going to die. You need to come over to the Christian Patriot platform at the B2T Neighborhood free platform. Um, come, come over there. Put your prayer request there. So I just wanted to do a couple quick prayer requests, and we're going to wrap her up. And so um, I think we had Rebecca had a prayer request for her children and grandsons are flying back home today from Mexico. Uh, so for it was safe Lourdes. flight. Yeah. Lourdes. It was Lourdes, Rick. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's Lourdes. California. Lourdes is praying for that. Okay, yeah. so who would like to pray for that? Let's see. Rods, would you mind lifting that up? I think this is Lourdes asking for her children. I, I see Rebecca as a direct message here. So uh, I don't know if she just replaced. Um, so safe travels for anybody know. who's traveling. for. Okay, go ahead, Roz. And what's his name? Let's just pray for the families of people flying <laughs> to be okay. general, okay? <laughs> okay, got that. Heavenly Father, there's so many people traveling around the world from country to country within their own country. We ask you, Lord, to keep them safe in their travels so they can get to their destination safely and return home safely. We praise you, Lord, for always looking out for your children and keeping them all safe, whether they're at home or holiday or vacationing with family. Thank you, Lord, for keeping everybody safe. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right. Thank amen. you. I think we covered amen. several of them there because I got a direct message from Rebecca and I also covered Lord Ace family. Thank you so much for that. I see, was it Ejima, Zion, Elijah? Please kindly agree with me in prayer for Sis Gloria to get pregnant and be born twins, boys. <laughs> Pray also for my family, my children, and Devon protection and keep serving God. So that's pretty awesome. I love it. So I'm trying to figure out who hasn't participated yet. Uh, Vicki, would you mind praying for that? This is Ejima, Zion Elijah calling for prayers for Gloria get to get pregnant and uh, his family. Father, we just need to, to be marvelous. Please bless Elijah, Gloria, Gloria, Lord. Um, bless them with the gift of a pregnancy, Lord, that we, we know you knit us in our womb. You knew us from the beginning. So we just pray for that beautiful gift to come to them. And that they will rejoice and have these beautiful baby twins. Um, if that is your will, Lord, you know it will happen. You are the provider. And we just praise and thank you, Father, for all the gifts that you give every day. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Vicki. Hey, so I'm just going to do a turbo on a few more of these. Uh, again, if you didn't get this, it, uh, there's links below to get into that prayer room, the written prayer request. You'll get all kinds of these backstage people 
that have the gifts that we're talking about, all nine gifts, and, and they'll be praying for you. So get your prayer requests in the neighborhood. Um, Adam Ochoa is saying, I pray for freedom and liberty for my family, praying Jesus to be firmly established in the house of our children, be lovers of God, Lord. So we pray for the whole family of Adam Ochoa. Actually, anybody who's listening to my voice right now, I pray for that family. I pray for uni unity between families, uh, not only unified in their friendships and their love for each other, but also the knowledge of what he just said, uh, for the knowledge of God and the knowledge of uh, freedom and, and also freedom of liberty across the world. As this cabal falls, we call down by the authority of Jesus' name, the name above all names, and his blood. By that power and authority, we call down this cabal in all countries, Lord. We call down the power that they have completely falls down and you usher in all the saints that love you, Lord. All the remnant that love you come in and take dominion over the nations lord we said sirzy marriott my christian adult son is being held captive by his sin by and his married boss my former friend pray for a way to escape for him lord we just pray for Susie marriott and her, her her christian adult son lord and we pray for all the all the wayward sons and daughters and and, and we pray specifically for this son right now though lord that he will not be held captive by anything that he'll only be captive by the word of god and lord we pray for that for right now for susie maria and her son and anybody else all these prodigal sons that are coming home we had some praise requests before bring them home lord bring them home by the mighty name of jesus uh, one more jan mary johnson i would love prayer for my hips and legs lord this is what this ministry is about is the, is is what you've given us i pray for everyone everyone uh, everyone backstage lift your hands up again feel the tingling in your hands we're asking the lord that this ministry is full of people who have the gift of healing the gift of miracles that you've given us and promises lord Jesus. and we pray right now for jan marie johnson that we would pray for her hips and legs right now by the mighty name of jesus by the blood that he shed the name above all names by that power and authority we call for this hips and legs to be healed now in your name amen lord thank you so much for that uh, last one we'll do and that i have here is amy hayden i would love to get prayers for migraines to go away yes. i have them for 35 years lord so i just pray wow. against migraines i pray against them anybody who has problems with any chronic pain whatsoever that we ask by the same way everybody raises their hand you know because you have the tingling in your hands that you can feel the literal gift of miracles Release, Lord. And, and by the way anybody out there right now i ask you to raise your hands anybody that's out there in the audience whether you're listening to this recording raise your hands right now and ask lord i pray for the gifts that you talk about in 1 corinthians 12 and we're specific, i specifically ask you give me give me the gift of healing Give me the gift of miracles, and but as it comes through, you'll feel the tingling in your hands. Lord, thank you for that gift. And with that, we're gonna ask that Amy Hayden, that these migraines she's had for 35 years, depart yeah, yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Depart, depart now, Lord. Depart. Depart. And for anybody that has wow. chronic pain worldwide and has listened to me right now, receive it. Re lift your lift your faith up to God. Lift your faith up to heaven and allow that healing that we're giving you right now come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, we love you. We love you, Lord. We call it done. Again, if you didn't get your prayer request in, make sure you put it on the neighborhood wall, B2T neighborhood. We love you guys so much. Join us every Friday night, 6 p.m. CST. Oh my goodness, Vicky. Oh, Jesus. We didn't get Vicky. Vicky, would you pray us out? <laughs> Vicky Y yes. from uh, Japan, y. who I think is in uh, in in uh, Seattle yeah. right now. But <laughs> hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Bless yeah. You. Come Internet's on, not been so good tonight. So, Father, I just lift you up. Everyone who's been in the sound of this voice one voice one unity in you from now to all those who watch it in the future and i ask for your call to go Jesus. out through this sound through this frequency 
to draw in even more people to receive your blessing, to receive your anointing, to increase this ministry, to increase abundance and freedom and sovereignty for your people, not just in the United States, but over the whole world, Father. We ask for your glory to be poured out and known according to your word you claimed it, it will be done. Amen. Oh, Rick, Amen. we got to sing. We got to sing okay. our hand. <laughs> so I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Because all that I have is this hallelujah, hallelujah. And I know it's not much. I'm nothing else fit for my king except for my heart singing hallelujah come on everybody knows it so so I throw up my hands and praise you again and again oh that I Hallelujah, hallelujah, and I know it's not much fit for my king, except for my heart singing, hallelujah, hallelujah, here we go. So come on, my soul, don't you get shy on me, lift up your song, cause you got a lion inside of those lungs, get up and praise the Lord, yeah, come on, so come on, my soul, don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. Cause you got a lion inside of those lungs Get up and pray the Lord So come on my soul Don't you get shy on me and lift up your song You guys, you've got the Lion of Judah on the inside of you Get up and pray This song is called Gratitude. One more time. So we throw up our hands before heaven tonight. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Because all that I have is my hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, and I know it's not much. I'm nothing else fit for my King. Cause all that I have is this. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. See. Listen, Rick, I got to tell you, never in my life did I ever think I'd be on a stream that this many beautiful people would be on here with their cameras on, acting up for Jesus, showing out for the Lord. Woo. I love you guys. Everybody unmute and say, we love you, Jesus. Come on now. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Vicky S. and Vicky Y. Praise God. <laughs>
Love you, everybody. Love you, Jesus. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. <laughs> this is crazy. I even see Patriot Bird back. I love it. Hey, guys, we are just... <laughs> Thank we stayed on long enough, she had to come back. That's right. Hey, you guys are awesome. I do need to run because I got to get to a plane to get to Missouri for Mike Lindell. Yeah. Make sure you're watching that this weekend, starting tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. EST. Woo. You're going to see all 50 states voter fraud be revealed like you wouldn't believe. Oh my God. This is the moment wow. of truth. The next two days wow. at, uh, at in, in Springfield, yeah. Missouri, please be praying for our safety. And uh, and the, the the truth comes out on all fifty states. We're going to be revealing massive voter Amen. fraud. Okay. Hashtag so safe. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And the next weekend we'll be in Texas here in Dallas. Fly into Texas. Come and see us. Um, I'll be doing the opening prayer and and talk uh, for that event. That's all day Saturday. That'll be including Mike Lindell will be there again. Laura Logan talking about this voter fraud. We're also going to be having uh, Juan O'Savin and many other awesome, awesome patriot um, patriots there speaking at this all-day event at the rodeo area right outside Dallas. So flying to Dallas uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, and you'll and you, you guys will be blessed to beyond measure. Uh, but with that, make sure 6 p.m. CST every Friday night for Friday Night Pressure Prayer. You want to go deeper in this ministry, go to the Backstage tab on the Blessed Woo! to Teach website, Blessed with the number 2 Teach. And that is where you can be backstage with us and be part of a huge ministry where we're taking down the stronghold of Baal and Moloch and and, and the food source for, for Satan. We're taking that down here at this ministry. Come and join the Nine Squared Ministry of Backstage Blessed to Teach. God bless you guys. We'll, we'll, take, take, we'll catch you next week. Um, and now with that, if everybody wouldn't mind un, uh, unmuted and say goodbye. Bye. 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 All right. Man. Oh, Praise God. <laughs> Love you all. Bye. 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 God right. bless you. See you next week. Yeah. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> Recording.